peace, peace. Happy now. Now's the vibe break. Of course, not too far in the future, not too far in the past. Right now. Well, as above, so below. You know, when when one side of the spectrum starts to come one way, the upside of the spectrum starts to come one way. And what I'm meaning by that is I'm feeling the vibe that uh, this video I'm doing right now, you know, the reason why I caught the urge so strongly, other than the fact of it's October and the veil thin and, you know, really feeling the ancestors vibe, that's one thing, you know, the uh, veil thin. So a lot of us are going to be catching a lot of downloads about certain information, you know, and uh, for those of us, you know, who pineal you know is more open you know be receiving more you know pineal not so open and you'll be receiving less but still receiving something nonetheless you know it may seem like a faint little vibe of like man it's coming from something high you know what i'm saying depending on you know the strength but regardless uh i'm feeling this vibe again where this was something where it could have been just a little think fast, but then my higher self was like, nah, go a little deeper and set, you know, set the grounds, you know, basically the foundation, because it's not going to be the first time I actually, you know, speak on this subject that I'm about to get into. But basically, you know, speaking on new age Gnosis, you know, and uh, how I, you know, come across that vibe you know, through my path, through my journey, you know, uh, almost as a, uh, I say reverse undercover agent, but you know, as I get into this, you kind of see what I mean. But like, uh, I'm noticing, you know, a trend, and matter of fact, you know, this is, it's no, no playtime is over, you know, it's about keeping it real about, you know, certain situations, certain energies. You know, again, matter of fact, because what I'm about to speak on is kind of where that new age vibe of a, you know, you shouldn't, you know, turn, you know, uh, always focus on the positive, peaceful things and this and that. But anyway, <laughs> which because, again, positivity and peace is, a, you know, that is a blissful and beneficial situation. But, you know, uh, it's used in and strategy you know for certain situations but i want to speak on a few characteristics of you know uh the approach of a uh, new age gnosis you know and as i i go through this you know these characteristics is you know this is not to say oh a person who just does all oh, this is automatically this kind of person this is not to say that but you know it's kind of like the expression of you know when you go to explaining that this thing has scales you know this thing has you know it smells like water it has gills you know when you go to explaining certain things you know it's like all right that sounds like a fish you know like so it's just you know me sharing uh certain information because it is possible that you know these uh these characteristics may all apply to somebody and they may not be you know uh which is a very slim chance but you know because to, to me you know uh which this was more of a download than me just using my intellect you know these vibes hit on point but one of the things all right a few of the signs that you may be dealing with uh new age and i see in which of course this is also indirectly dealing with you know uh cia agents or cia uh tactics and matter of fact before i even go into you know the the, the new age and i survives let's speak on like uh what we're going to be kind of getting into right quick but uh social engineering you know, and i'm gonna uh, give the two definitions of social engineering Social engineering, the use of centralized planning in an attempt to manage social change and regulate the future development and behavior of society. That's the first definition of social engineering. 
second definition of social engineering, in the in matter of fact, in the context of information security, uh, the use of deception to manipulate individuals into divulging confidential or uh, personal information that may be used for fraudulent purposes. So, you know, those are the two definitions of social engineering. Matter of fact, and more so speaking to the first definition, the use of centralized planning, you know what I mean? You know, somebody like, you know, matter of fact, centralized planning, and, and it's no coincidence that the, the CIA name is Central Intelligence Agent, and we're talking about centralized planning, so there's no coincidence, <laughs> you know, that, you know, CIA deals heavily with social engineering, because matter of fact, what falls into that is, you know, the MK Ultra pro uh, project, you know, matter of fact, if you got Netflix, go go uh, watch, I think the name of it is called Wormwood, and I think the operation was called Operation Wormwood, but basically uh, one of many operations dealing with, you know, MK Ultra and the LSD vibes, you know, so you're going to start to see, like, all these correlations, you know. But again, the use of centralized plan, that means somebody got together, you know, the central little group, you know, got together in an attempt to manage social change and regulate the future development and behavior of society. So that means if I'm trying to get people to act a certain way 30 years from now, I got to start implementing, I got to start, you know, piece by piece, start implementing these little subconscious programmings, you know, right now, you know, so... So uh, as I'm teaching it to some people right now, I start getting into their mind, they could start teaching it to their children, you know? Like they could start, you know, start the program uh, right now in essence. And now uh, to, so with that being said, getting back to uh, you know, the new age Nazi. One of the, the vibes that you may, uh, you know, feel from the person, and which this ain't no all the time, always, but, you know, with, with dealing, because also with New Age Nazi vibes or any of this, you know, some of these people may have uh, psychic abilities and are, are knowing of psychic abilities. One of the ways to, to mask that is by being drunk or inebriated. So in, in some cases, you know, it may be a person that's, you know, when they're always in your presence, they drunk or drinking or under the influence, just enough to not be fully conscious, you know. Because, you know, it's kind of hard to, to fuck over people in certain situations when you're fully conscious, you know. You got to, you know, got to get drunk. Just like how some people got to snort dope or do something to go kill somebody or something. You know, some, some of these agents got to inebriate themselves to, you know, to hide their true intent, you know. Also with this uh, New Age Nazi vibe is a promotion of LSD, you know, and all that uh, festival drum circle-like vibe, like just always promoting this, you know, oh man, you know. And again, this is uh, not no, like, these aspects not to be looked at individual. I'm talking about the accumulation of all these aspects I'm speaking on, you know. Uh, and you'll see as I'm saying this because again I promote LSD you know what I'm saying in essence but again you'll see that these other you know characteristics I'm bringing up I won't fall in line with you know again it's like a correlation of you know a couple characteristics <laughs> but again this person uh, will in essence you know heavily promote LSD more than mushrooms and DMT you know you'll find that so it would be the promotion of LSD. And remember, you know, LSD was one of the main things, you know, used in MK Ultra. And then when we think about where all the big time banks at, the big time banks is in Switzerland. You know, Albert Hoffman, you know, the, the, the brethren who discovered the solution based, uh, you know, the solution, matter of fact, based on compounds found in ergot fungus. You know, and it was quote unquote a mistake you know, that Albert Hoffman discovered, you know, this, uh, matter of fact, lysergic acid diethylamide, but, uh, you know, LSD, uh, again, when this was April 
19, oh, the day before 420, April 19, 1943, you know, uh, was when I think that's when he officially found out, knew that, all right, he was dealing with LSD. And I think 1938, no, uh, I'm sorry, April 19, uh, 1943, I think, was his bicycle, uh, you know, was his first time taking the LSD. You know, as a matter of fact, you could kind of uh, relook it up to see. That date is significant too. Albert Hoffman, but I just can't remember which part, but you'll see. But anyway, and then uh, 1938 is when he actually just first kind of found out about the solution. Then in 1950 is when the Central Intelligence Agency, aka CIA, started using it in their mind control experience, aka MK Ultra. You know, and uh, matter of fact, and at one time, again, kind of briefing over LSD, you know. Was once sold as a medication for research purposes under the trade name Delicid, D E L Y S I D. You know, and uh, as a matter of fact, in which I'm gonna get into in a few, uh, you start to see that all these people have common idols. You know, it's like, you know, like the everybody like Plato, everybody like Alistair Crowley, everybody, you know. <laughs> But, uh, you know, uh, you start to just see, you know, these common, you know, uh, heroes in essence. But I think about like uh, Aldous, Aldous Huxley, you know, and they promote each other in essence. But again, Aldous Huxley, you know, the, the brethren who created uh, where he, always, he spoke on uh, a lot on dystopias. And matter of fact, go check out my video I recently did on dystopia. A dystopia is like you know like a, uh, an environment that's like it seems like it's uh free you know but it's really like a hellish type of existence where people you know uh, enslaved but don't really know it you know but uh all this Huxley wife said that she gave her husband LSD while on his deathbed and uh, was quote unquote the most beautiful death you know and oh, matter of fact, yeah, Aldous Huxley wrote, uh, matter of fact, if you want to check out his, his work, he wrote uh, a novel called Brave New World. So, you know, again, that was just a recap, you know, on the LSD vibes. Now, again, back to, you know, the New Age Nazis. So, again, I spoke on maybe drunk or inebriated, you know, inebriated in your presence. You know, also promotes, you know, LSD and like going to festivals, you know, like, man, go to this festival out here, go to this, you know, or the drum circle, this, the drum circle, that, you know. And then, all right, to add to that, secondly, or thirdly, you know, over peaceful, you know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, over peaceful to just like a blindly, you know, matter of fact, in one of the famous little quotes, a lot of times you hear, like, I don't see color, man, I don't see color, I don't see color. You know, and, and again, you know, it's more convenient for racists to, you know, uh, not see color, you know, because again, it, it's, uh, it's social engineering, you know, trying to promote this certain vibe. So, you know, again, you're going to feel this over peaceful vibe from the per almost like, like a pretentious, you know, you're going to feel a pretentious vibe coming off of them in essence. Now this one is a strong one that to me, that's why I put this in all caps, you know, along with the first three. Again, these not each individual thing, you know, because at one time, guess what? I was, you know, kind of over peaceful. And again, I was, too, though, that's going to show you that I was indirectly being programmed by this energy as well, <laughs> you know. But, uh, you know, again, it's the accumulation of all of it. But... All right, this next thing, though, that you just really find, and then you find this throughout just racism in general, like, well, you know, the main thing that, uh, you know, a society does, and this may be in Plato's Republic, the book of the Republic, you know. Uh, but speaking on, like, so say, for instance, you know, to take away aggressive men, you know, because the, matter of fact, with the woman, 
you know, matter of fact, holding our DNA and the, the way our, you know, lineage is passed down is through our mom's mitochondria, you know, and, you know, that's the, the womb, man, you know, that's the, you know, like how our moms are, are affected is what, how we affected, you know what I'm saying? We sitting in that womb for nine months. And when the when the males are, you know, demasculinized, you know, or maybe over feminine, again, it's not knocking homosexuality to each his own, but the reality of the situation is, you know, this this lifestyle is promoted, you know, and and not only a lifestyle promotion, but also by chemicals in the food, you know, fetoestrogen and soy products and soy being promoted by Monsanto and soy being the only, you know, thing or how I say, you know, you never heard of anything in nature having a patent on it, you know, but Monsanto has a patent on the soy bean, which goes to show you that it was, you know, man-made, you know, and two, just see the foolishness of people trying to, you know, be God in a dysfunctional way, because I think about too, like uh, the, that brethren Robert Simmons who be putting the patents on these crystals and stuff like that, you know, trying to uh, attach his name to it. But anyway, w one of the main things to to that go along with these other vibes is never promote masculinity. Like you would never hear, like say for instance, so along with being overly peaceful and not seeing color and promoting LSD and the you know the festival. Matter of fact, the the Grateful Dead, like, oh man, the Grateful Dead, that's, the Grateful Dead is like the best thing ever, you know, and along with, again, maybe possibly being always inebriated in your presence, they're going to also never promote masculinity, you know, that you're never going to have a conversation with this person about how to be a strong, aggressive man, ever, you know what I'm saying, ever, 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 you know what I'm saying, only way is if they feel that you on to them so they <laughs> so they might try to bring it up a little bit you know but again they're they're gonna never ever ever promote masculinity you know maybe for for females you know to throw things off but they're never gonna promote masculinity for men so you're never gonna really have a conversation about you know you should be a man you should take care of your family this and that it's always gonna be about oh peace man peace and you know this and that can't we all just get along you know no matter of fact because kind of briefing like with the beatles vibe and how the beatles was used uh, as a part of that uh social engineering and programming you know and john lennon you know with all peace peace <laughs> Again, ain't nothing wrong with the piece, but it's, you know, it's being used, you know. Again, we could look at this example as just like the SWAT sticker, you know. The SWAT sticker, in essence, still holds its, uh, you know, its original energy, you know. So we don't, we don't have to hate the SWAT sticker just because Hitler, you know, used it in a certain way. You know, but again, so they never promote masculinity also what's next they never acknowledge indigenous culture and philosophers who predate like uh plato alistair crowley carl Jung, freud like you know basically they will never really acknowledge you know uh the indig indigenous culture that predates you know as is as, as if atlantis and lemuria and as if you know, as if that never existed, as if, you know, the Sphinx don't have water erosion on it from 10,000 years ago, showing that people existed anciently, like they're not going to go into that. As a matter of fact, another thing, too, that I didn't write down, these people may also overly promote aliens, like UFOs, man, and aliens and stuff like that, man. I bet, wonder what's out there. As above, so below. Whatever's inside of me is out there. You know what I'm saying? But they're going to try to promote it as this, you know, like, to try to have you chasing shit outside of you. That's another thing they're going to promote. Like, you know, promoting habits of just going outwardly, you know. But again, they're never going to acknowledge indigenous culture or philosophers that predate, like, so you'll never hear these people be like, oh, man, Phil Valentine, Bobby Hemmett uh dick gregory uh you know uh you know c free manel you know uh who's a little bit uh 
That's my brethren. But you, you're never going to hear him uh, bring up these people, you know. And, and, and again, they're going to bring up, you know, Plato, Alistair Crowley, Carl Jung, Freud, Aldous Huxley, you know, John D. Shakespeare. When they bring up these names, it's going to be like as if these are the smartest men to who, who have ever walked in a bodysuit. You know, these guys, oh man, Play, Plato, man, you know, oh, Aleister Crowley is genius, you know, oh man, you know, that whole vibe, <laughs> you know, but just, you know, just act like that's like the smartest human beings to ever, ever, ever touch this planet, you know, that's, that's how they're going to be coming. So to recap. You know, maybe drunk and inebriated in your presence, overly promoting LSD, and uh, you know the festival, Grateful Dead, drum circle, you know, peace, love, holding hands in a circle, Hare Krishna, Om, you know what I'm saying? And again, that's why I tell people. That's why. I, and I had a situation today where I really got open. I ain't even gonna. Uh, point out people in essence like that you know what I'm saying because you know I just could go off of but you know just an interaction with somebody today just kind of gave me more confirmation let's just say that you know with me being back in this neighborhood that I stayed in and by LSU you know you know like uh brethren over promoting meat like oh yeah man that's the only way I could stay healthy is to eat meat you know and you know, speaking on, you know, uh, all kind of other thing, you know, and again, not saying this makes a person, you know, races automatically. Again, you know, I'm just giving you again, signs of that a person may be of this ilk. And again, again, I keep saying, we also not, this is for awareness purposes. This is not to be witch hunting, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just you you living your life, you know. Matter of fact, you should be focused on, you know, again, uh, meditation, clearing your mind, aligning your chakras, finding out why, you know, the, the, you know, the things that you see externally, you know, what's going on internally. And for one thing, the main thing, too, is just reprogramming your own subconscious, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this is not to be on no witch hunt, you know. Because again, uh, we also not, uh, we're not being judgmental. You don't want to fall in a place of being judgmental or none of this. Because, you know, these new age Nazis, you know, this the contrast that, that's the pressure that make a diamond, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, like with anything, you know, we grateful for the contrast, you know what I'm saying? So we don't, we don't hate the contrast, you know. Be grateful for that. That, that alligator in the water that might have turned you into a strong swimmer because you was making sure that it don't bite you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it, it, just the, you know. But, uh, you know, and basically, I keep it real, you know. Again, the, these vibes is, this is source delivering a message you know or more so you know sourcing high self and ancestors you know delivering this message you know this is not again i be real which i didn't even really feel like doing this video you know like i was you know in which i could kind of say maybe that's the lower vibrations in me or that ego in me that you know that that know i'm breaking and shaking down the system that actually helps it you know that helps my ego so my ego like, oh, no, you know, let's not do this video right now. <laughs> you know, spirit was like, oh, no, like, you got to, you know. And even down to not being a perfectionist about it, because usually I try to be a perfectionist about it and make sure I have every little detail for situations like this. But it was like, nah, just get it out there, you know, and, you know, just to have it floating out there so people could start doing their research in this area. Cause again, as above, so below, it must, they must be about to make a power move, you know, on some social engineering vibes, you know, matter of fact, which, you know, the moon landing, I feel like, you know, that's one of the, 
social engineering vibes they they dealing with it because they coming out with this movie to try to reprogram you know your subconscious like oh no fuck fuck all that shit and then two not only reprogram you but test the waters and see where you at because they're gonna see the turnout on that moving you know and see comments on social media and see like how you know awakened people are you know and then they can know from there how how uh, strong their propaganda could be Matter of fact, like that post I had earlier today where, you know, the audacity levels, though, could be ridiculous at times. Like how, you know, they got uh, the promotion of cancer awareness, but it is places that sell stuff that actually give you cancer that's speaking on cancer awareness, but showing you just like how much they don't give a fuck about, you know, your intellect, like, you know, they just like, uh, you know, fuck it. It seem like they ain't hip to the shit, so we just gonna really slap them in the face and, you know, it, and like how I spoke on it, it's almost like the same thing. It's like having, you know, little pink ribbons on a box of cigarettes talking about cancer awareness. Like, let's be aware of cancer by smoking these cigarettes. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, should you take these things off the shelf? Like, KFC, you know, fried foods cause cancer, so should y'all just go out of business to help cancer instead of telling people wear a pink ribbon? What a pink ribbon gonna do? I ain't gonna stop it. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. <laughs> oh, and another thing to add to that to that vibe, uh, you know, the New Age Nazi vibe, they gonna act as if the system has a chance to really liberate us. That's another little coup where they just going, well, you know, I think, man, and again, may come from the quote unquote, you know, spiritual vibes. You know, I meditate, I deal with crystals, I do crystal raps, I deal with psychedelics. May come from that elk, but again, like got scales, got gills, got fins, smell like water, you know, it may be a fish. <laughs> so again, you know, acting, acting as if the system gonna have a chance to liberate you know people and all of us that's truly in this know that bro that shit ain't shit like we we breaking that shit fully down that doesn't mean we harming nobody hurting nobody you know what i'm saying <laughs> but you know just through our intellect and the subconscious programming we're gonna break down the system you know and and, and anybody that knows anything knows that we've been subconsciously programmed you know, by the system and to depend on the system. So anybody that has any type of spiritual sense or connection to higher self is not trying to talk about, well, you know, maybe Trump gonna do this or maybe, you know, that's like how people was, you know, quote unquote with the spiritual vibes, but then just, but still like, uh, like Bernie Sanders, I think Bernie Sanders, man, none of that shit is made to help you, none of it. You know what I'm saying? Like point blank period, and that's the ancestors coming out right there. <laughs> and I'm not apologizing for that. <laughs> you know, I'm not being mean to anybody. It's just, you know, the energy is just strong. The veil is very thin. And matter of fact, the reason why I'm speaking on this is because I think of somebody who, you know, that I met in Venice, you know, that give out ohm hugs and such and such and this and that. And, you know, and had a conversation about, well, yeah, man, Dick Cheney is real. And, I, and say, for instance, I know, and I, I might have spoke on this on the flip side, like maybe, you know, somewhat honoring this person's story. But, like, because uh, I do realize, you know, there are some light beings that's undercover. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, you know. But, you know, just talking about how, like, Dick Cheney it is, Dick Cheney that, you know, as if he's an undercover light being. But then the same person, you know, when me and a brethren was jamming some music by Guru. If y'all familiar with Guru, the gang star, you know, conscious rapper, conscious brethren, you know, when when this person came around me and my brethren listening to this music, you know, this music was like, oh, you know, this is this is the problem now. I'm like, and it was kind of records. <laughs> like, like, wait, hold on, my brethren, this is Guru, like, you know. <laughs> You know, you might you might want to reassess what you know what I'm saying. You know, since you're so tapped in, you know, that's another thing too. Like well, these people claim to be so tapped in too. But, you know, coming with this these off vibes. 
And another thing, too, where I spoke about never promote masculinity, this person also kind of spoke to a vibe of promoting homosexuality as if it was something spiritual, you know what I'm saying? Again, to each his own on your vibes, but, you know, source don't make no mistakes, man. And the word intercourse stands for a penis entering the course of the vaginal canal, you know? Like, how to have obstacle course. <laughs> you got to go through the obstacle course, the inner course, you know, you enter the course. And again, it's not knocking nobody's uh, lifestyle or anything, but this is the reality of the situation, you know. Like, uh, you know, things is getting serious. There's no longer time for me to try to pet somebody's ego, you know. You can't handle the truth. Get out of the kitchen. <laughs> But nah, you know, it's just, you know, again, the reality of the situation. So again, all them different vibes. And again, uh, also, if I haven't spoke to this, like, you have a feeling too, also, within the presence of, these, of, of this person, you know, or these people, whoever they, you know. Deep down in your soul, you could just feel the misleading nature in the peaceful vibes that they're giving off. It's like... You know, no matter how peaceful, how, and again, back to the social engineering vibe, too. Well, I, I caught the download that, you know, that over-peacefulness vibe, you know. So, say, for instance, how I talk about social engineering is a part of, like, centralized planning to attempt to manage social change. Also, with the part of, like, your, the security of information, you know, like, with uh, deception to manipulate individuals into divulging co confidential you know, personal information where, you know, uh, people are like social engineer, you know, little vibes to pull information from you in that, you know, in, in that manner as well, you know, with that peaceful vibe. Like, oh, this and that. And so you open up to them. And when you open up to them, you know, you're giving, you know, uh, you, and which, again, uh, I'm a person where I don't give a fuck what I tell, you know, like, all right, I feel like you could find the information out regardless anyway if you really try hard enough, so I don't have nothing to hide or run from, you know, and again, this is not about being scared of anybody or, or fearful, you know what I'm saying, this is just awareness of what's going on around you, and, you know, now this is all leading back, pointing back to why I had that, you know, uh, the type of uh, LSD trip I had a while back where I explained, you know, what we had the vibe of, you know, being exposed to these agents in the Venice Beach area, you know, and the Abbott area with gentrification and again, you know, this social engineering vibe. Now, uh, to speak a little bit on this, and let's just get to the end, you know, the Tavistock Institute of Human Relations you know, matter of fact, so just to breathe, the Tavistock Institute, which, uh, you know, you should research. Matter of fact, uh, shout out to the brethren Jay Dyer, you know, uh, that Hollywood esoterica book, but that book that I, uh, you know, that I've been showing y'all lately, dealing with the, you know, the uh, information on Hollywood. That brethren also has a, a YouTube channel, J Dyer, J A Y D Y E R. You know, go check it out. Matter of fact, uh, me passing through some information was sparked me to do this video. You know, uh, but this information definitely, you know, draw the correlation in all of this. But again, Tavistock Institute of Human Relations, a British non non-profit organi organization which applies social science to contemporary issues and problems uh, and this place was initiated in 1946 and hey this place was initiated in 1946 you know, in 1950 the central intelligence agency started using you know uh, LSD for mind control you know and speaking of 1946 not too far from uh, 1943 when Albert Hoffman you know uh, first took his little trip you know in Switzerland with all the banks at <laughs> you know and uh and also so with the Tavistock Institute during the war uh the uh, staff played key roles in British psychiatry 
Now, uh, I didn't see which war they was talking about, but just in general, uh, and I say just in general, but they, uh, I didn't get the actual war, but it's just to speak to the, you know, the fact that they were using this during war, because what it also points to is that, uh, you know, turning certain, like, uh, you know, these old crazy army vets, you know, matter of fact, you know, we talk about post-dramatic stress and stuff like that, you know, these people that's, you know, like, just all messed up in the head or then had these, you know, espionage missions, stuff like that, in essence, this will be the people who they are also turn into, like, uh, serial killers, in essence, you know, on, on a, again, on an MK Ultra vibe, but uh, when you think about Manson, uh, Charles Manson, and matter of fact, in Laurel Canyon, you know, in, uh, in Hollywood, and Mulholland Drive, and a little connection with, with, with Manson, but, you know, Manson, you know, in essence, uh, you know, where it really points to him being a puppet, you know, to some higher governmental situation, or, you know, again, or some social engineering. You know, uh, you see that correlation right there, you know, with the army, you know, uh, or with the Tavistock, again, the Tavistock Institute that deals with, you know, social science, also dealing with, you know, uh, the war in, in British and in, in dealing with uh, psychiatry, you know, so you see that little correlation. And uh, to get into this uh, other information, again, it's just brief, not getting deeper. This this kind of like the preset to part two, three, and four, and five, I'm talking on this subject matter, but uh, you know, uh, the Tavistock Institute, as a matter of fact, Tavistock, T A V I S T O C K, Tavistock, Tavistock Institute of Human Relations, as well as, as its child, its child uh, organization. The Stanford Research Institute. Uh, oh. So basically, let's see. Uh, Tavistock Institute. All right, just speaking to the things they were running. So the Tavistock Institute uh, had this guy working for him named Alan Triss. Alan Triss was a social, social engineer for Tavistock. And he was low key the shadow manager of the Beatles, you know. Uh, and again, you know, just go look look this up. And matter of fact, his father was a uh, Eric uh, Eric Trist, who was a uh, basically a, a founder, principal founding member of a uh, Tavistock Institute. And matter of fact, Alan Trist, you can look up his name or Google it. A L A N T R I S T. You know, and his father, Eric Triss, E-R-I-C-T-R-I-S-T. -I -I and then, matter of fact, and then also uh, pointing out to, uh, you know, how they started promoting, uh, you know, Timothy Leary, you know, with the LSD vibe as well, you know. And getting to uh, uh, another aspect Oh, matter of fact, and I'm sorry, all right, when I brought up Alan Triss, uh, rewind, Alan Triss wasn't the shadow, uh, he wasn't the shadow uh, manager of the Beatles, he was the shadow manager of the Grateful Dead, so correction, Alan Triss was the shadow manager of the Grateful Dead, not the Beatles. And reason why I'm cleaning it up because I uh, I came to this part. That's why I mixed it up. But uh, this other brethren, Theodore W. Adorno, Theodore T H E O D O R W dot Adorno, A D O R N O. Matter of fact, worked for Tavistock. Was the brains behind the Beatles' music, and he also held the rights that he uh, eventually sold to Michael Jackson. Because we all know too. Michael Jackson ended up with the rights to all the Beatles music. That's why after, you know, uh, 
or just early in the game in general, like you never heard Beatles music used in movies or just loosely, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, those rights were given to Michael Jackson. You know? uh, and also, all right, in another aspect to the social engineering uh, aspect, and again, getting back to the correlation of this fake new age vibe and there's no coincidence that I've been bringing this up a lot before I even came across what I'm speaking on right now you know like how this is the, the last you know things I've been having a vibe to speak on been this hidden Hollywood vibe moon landing uh, subconscious programming you know like all, all this is very key right now I and mean, being aware of this but uh, the Beatles were introduced to the public to spread the youth culture, which was, you know, eventually the new age culture setting up the situation you have today. So again, back to the social engineering, the use of centralized planning in an attempt to manage social change and regulate the future development and behavior of society. And then again, when you look at uh, the, all the, the philosophers that these people praise, you know, Aldous, Aldous uh, Huxley, you know, matter of fact, uh, Aldous Huxley dealing with the dystopia and creating a situation where, you know, you're enslaving people, but uh, in a way that they don't even know they're slaves, you know. So here it is, you're just thinking, oh, I'm enjoying music, man. I'm just enjoying the Beatles, enjoying this LSD, not knowing that you're indirectly being, uh, you know, boxed into this little, you know, this little enslavement without even knowing, you know, and this illusion of freedom. And, and in that way, you, whenever you never know you're a slave, you're going to continue to be one because you don't even know you're a slave in the per first place, you know. Compared to when you're really getting your ass beat, you know, and you really know, like, all right, this shit is really fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and again, I, and I always used to bring that up, too. That's why. I, <laughs> and see, that just show goes to show me intuition and high self, you know, overriding all that shit we was taught but like I always saying you know this new age vibe new age racism <laughs> you know it gotta switch up you know it's not gonna keep the same cloak you know it gotta take off the you know it gotta take off the uh they took off the hoodies the white hoodies and traded it in for for, for mala beads and <laughs> you know yoga studios and crystal shops and <laughs> Um, promoting LSD, you know, and oh, let's be kumbaya, my lord, and hold hands, you know, that's, you know, that's the disguise, that's the cloak, and again, uh, I'd saying that all people dealing with this vibe, you know, you know, that's why it's so important for us to be in tune with our heart and our higher self, you know, as a matter of fact, well, you know, as I'm delivering this information, knowing that I'm not just talking out the side of my neck or tripping on you know, like I know this is, you know, uh, a connection from source, you know, like clear cognizant, you know, vibes. And just to uh, speak on uh, Theodore, uh, Theodore uh, Adorno also wrote some books uh one is called dialectic of enlightenment one is called philosophy of new music uh one is called the Author authoritarian personality and one is called minima moralia you know, but these are the vibes and that's <laughs> and basically you know uh basically it some just definitely wanted me to share, you know, share that vibe. And then two, what also just kind of adds to this vibe. For one, how lately the Devic Kingdom, like I've been having this urge to just get Devic Kingdom crystals. And, and now looking at it, you know, it's like, all right, you know, the ancestors, you know, from Devic Kingdom is calling out. Matter of fact, the Twa people. Matter of fact, go look at my videos about the Devic Kingdom. You know, uh, Devic, D-E-V-I-C. Uh, but you know, the ancestors is definitely reaching out right now. Matter of fact, again, the veil is thin, you know, so we definitely gonna be catching them downloads, you know, very strongly. But I see that coincidence. And also, like, 
I feel the difference in being back in Louisiana, you know, it's like there's a stronger connection to the ancestors, you know. Because, matter of fact, like this situation, again, I had earlier, you know, uh, dealing with somebody where these vibes, you know, that I'm speaking on was like very evident and the ancestors was like, like basically telling me like stop you know like stop falling for the social engineering like feel the vibe like this motherfucker giving you some indirect shit and, and too and before i leave on this note too like well again with uh some vibes of racism and consciousness it is it, promoted and taught so much that even some uh you know some white people you know don't even uh in essence see or know what they're doing in essence you know they just you know i'm just going along with what mama and daddy taught me or what you know what i see and saw you know and not necessarily like all right i'm going to promote lsd and drum circles as a racist you know like not all but again you just get to see though too though just how indirectly what we just gotta start putting our foot down because uh you see what is just happening indirectly and two, so with that, with us, you know, bringing the truth up from, we get to really see what person that, cause it's like, all right, you know, you possibly was doing it out of the vibe of just following your parents. Well, now since we know better, now let's see, you know, where is it, <laughs> where, where, where we at with it, you know? Since, since you know that in essence, your culture, uh, you know, vultures from my culture, and tries to kill it and things of this nature. So now that you know that, where you continuously, you know, like uh, still promote, you know, the things that uh, again have this indirect, uh, you know, a pat more not even say indirect, passive aggressive racism vibe, you know, where you promote that or you know, the the righteous vibes. And you realize it when you come across as you can as you continue on your journey and you come across them souls where you could just feel like undeniable a uh, a million and infinity percent that this person is you know 100 with you you know what i'm saying and again this ain't like those vibes i brought up they all uh you know are packaged together you know as far as like identifying that 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 vibe but again it's uh not no witch hunt <laughs> but it, it is a uh you know the reality of the situation that we should be aware of you know kind of like uh our parents telling us hey don't go too close by the river because alligators over there <laughs> you know I'm not telling you to be scared of no fucking alligator. I'm be like, ah, alligator. Ah. No, just don't go by the, the river. Or watch how you swim by the river because they got alligators in the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't trying to scare you. I ain't trying to tell you be fearful. Just giving you some info to be aware so you don't get your arm chopped off. That's it. <laughs> That's basically it, y'all. Go check out my other videos uh, that I did recently. Again, speaking on Hollywood and Stanley Kubrick, Eyes Wide Shut. Uh, the, the one I did on Dystopia. Like, this all correlate. Any of my, uh, go to my psychedelic uh, playlist and check out, uh, uh, you know, my other videos about psychedelic experiences. That's also going to add to, you know, this, this situation. And uh, and end with you know uh, to always do your research. Uh, as I'm saying all this stuff, this is not you know. Now I will put an asterisk by it and say, of course, you know, some of us are very lit, very intuitively, you know, are, how I say, some of us are extremely intuitive where we could listen to somebody say something and know that they what they speaking is real and true. You know, again, that's uh, quote unquote uh, empathic abilities to know when people is lying or not you know so of course we we use our abilities but also you know do do the extra research which i want you to do you know deep in the you know the research you know because again iron sharpen iron you might find some extra things and hit me up like man i found some extra stuff you know what i'm saying 
Like, it's not about nobody being smarter than the next or none of this. It's about all of us, you know, being informed. Y'all, you know, I'm your reflection. Y'all my reflection, you know. Uh, so, you know, it's just the whole vibe. But that's basically it. <laughs> Again, uh, if you enjoy the information, uh, hit the like button. And also, if uh, information is you find information extremely beneficial or just beneficial in general, you know, and uh, you would like to to donate, I do have a, a PayPal link under mostly all of my videos. When you uh, click on the little detail area, that have the link to my PayPal account. Uh, and if you again uh, vibe with the content, hit the subscribe button with the little bell notification. So every time I drop a vid, you could get a little notification. And uh, thank y'all for the love and support, man. You know, I do this out of love. You know, I love learning about myself and learning things that was about things that always was purposely hidden from me that I know could better help my soul ascension, you know. And since I love what I, you know, this is one of the things I love and I just share share what I love with y'all, you know. Again, like the uh, shout out to Alan Watts, you know, uh, speaking on a uh, Matter of fact, until you kind of see like where certain people not promoted in my little Hollywood book, they don't promote Alan Watts. <laughs> you know, it's like you start to see like how some 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 versions uh do be coming with the righteousness. That's why they're not necessarily overly promoted in that sense. Again, you'll see that correlation. <laughs> But and that's that's it. That's basically it. <laughs> Big show. Yep, yep. Uh, peace. Happy now. Now's the vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now, remember, you know, use that intuition, of course, but you know, also do the extra research, you know. And uh, unless you just got all of it, you know, straight up, and you know, you you know how I self, you know, letting you know that everything I said had the validity to it, and you know, you know, may not have to do no extra research in that essence, but you know, still <laughs> had a balance. <laughs> Peace, peace, y'all. Thank y'all for the love and support.